All right, it's time to make ping pong paddle number four. For this one, I've got one of my pre-made blanks that I made with my cool router jig. So I've got a whole bunch of uh, roofing nails here that got the big flat head that's fairly thin. And what I'm thinking is just drive a whole ton of them through the paddle like that. And so on one side, you'll just have all the circles from the nails. And then on the, the back side, you'll have all the points. Uh, and I think that might make for an interesting ping pong paddle. Maybe a little bit dangerous, but uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens. And I've got a little bit of a, a surprise that you'll see for the handle. Kind of a thought that I had at the last second. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with that. Anyway, the next step, once I lay out my lines for my nails, is going to be to drill like a hundred some holes. Enjoy the music while I do just tons of holes. Probably shouldn't say that. But enjoy the music while I do the drilling. <laughs> it just doesn't sound good. Oh, now I've lost it. Uh, so I'm just gonna put some music on and drill some coal. Bleh. So I'm gonna put some music on while I do this and get my drill press right here at my workbench so that I can use it real comfortably and just drill all the holes. <sighs> that sounds terrible. I need to get to drilling these holes because this is gonna take forever. Tears on a river, push on a shove, it don't mean much. It's pretty warm in my garage. Uh, not gonna lie, that was uh, way more work than I was expecting. Um, I did get all of them done, so all of the nails are in. It ended up being like 180 nails roughly. Uh, it was almost the entire one pound box of nails. Um, and my thumb hurts like heck from pushing those in. The other issue now is, like I said, this used almost a pound of nails. So it weighs about a pound and that makes it kind of tough so I, I need a heavy handle on it uh, i know that'll make it more heavy altogether but it'll help balance the weight a little bit uh, so let's go do that now One hour later.
right, it's all done, and I'm pretty sure this is my favorite of the four paddles that I've made so far. Um, I just, <laughs> I, the, the nails turned out great. The hammer for the handle is just perfect, and it gives it a, actually a good balance to it. As you can see, the nails are sharp. Uh, it definitely uh, put, you know, pierced straight through that ball. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, and actually, as far as using it as a real ping pong paddle, the, uh, the backing is pretty nice, and it keeps, uh, kind of dampens the effect of all the nail heads back there. So, uh, it bounces fairly well, as long as it hits somewhat square on one of the nail heads, occasionally bounces kind of weird, um, or it'll hit a dead spot where, like, one of the heads is way sunken next to the other ones. Uh, but for the most part, it actually bounces pretty well. Um, so I actually think I could probably use this in a real game. Um, of course, the other side is a little difficult but uh and you might catch a ball or two but i think this just turned out amazing um so this is ping pong paddle number four super happy with it uh let me know in the comments what you think should i try to stand on it with my foot you know bed and nail style i don't know see you later